So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me, to, for me to introduce our speaker today, who is going to talk to us about web mining opportunities and challenges. Dr. Geeta, she's a professor at CSC department at KLE Institute of Technology, Hubali, Karnataka. Thank you for joining us, ma'am. We can start with today's presentation. Over to you. Uh, good morning, everyone. So to, today's session is on web mining opportunities and challenges. So web mining. Mining is the process of extracting some information from some location. As such as web mining, web mining, it is application of data mining, which helps in extracting potential and useful information from World Wide Web. So in this session, uh, we'll be going through about opportunities and challenges and what are different web mining techniques, and what are the applications of these and how the research can be carried out in these areas. As such, uh, nowadays, uh, there are websites around 1.8 billion websites are available in the internet. And this is a service being uh, collected from World Wide Web Project, uh, which shows uh, 1.88 billion websites are available in the internet across uh, various servers. Uh, can you imagine how well the websites can be stored? across internet servers and how the retrieving mechanism can be carried out so that all the users can get quick response. So here is a big challenge for even the website designers and a retrieval technique mechanisms also. So this particular worldwide web, which contains around uh, billions of uh, websites, in the form of hypertext documents. And whenever user has a query to this particular worldwide web, you can imagine how well the searching can happen, how well indexing can happen, and what can be the possible mechanism, efficient mechanism to store the websites in the storage media data warehouse and gain the knowledge from such huge amount of data. So these are the opportunities and challenges of web mining. There is a huge web information available and there are n number of heterogeneous servers and we sh should have a different uh, efficient uh, mechanism to store uh, the data in the warehouse that is storage media. And even we should have a mining technique which helps in gathering the information from a storage media and these websites are very much dynamic even we should have a mechanism to handle dynamicity and instead of keeping the website at a particular server even based on the demand from the user from particular location the websites can be distributed across various servers so that as and when user request for particular web page of a website, uh, those requests can be routed to the nearest server. That is how even distributing computing plays a vital role, which can be even uh, speaking about big data analytics. Okay, Data is available, uh, which is very huge, uh, and uh, uh, the parallel computation can be carried out, parallel paradigm can be used to, to get the required information. And here uh, regarding hyperlinks. So as it is, we know very well, website is collection of web pages and uh, all these web pages are interlinked uh, through links called as hyperlinks. And how, how well these hyperlinks can be managed and we should take care of, uh, there should not be any sort of tangling links. And if there is any redundant information available across various websites, uh, how that can be uh, reduced or eliminated. So these are the opportunities and challenges of web mining. 
hope uh, you are clear with the uh, definition of web mining and what are the challenges now we'll move on to web mining techniques so web mining is categorized mainly into three techniques web structure mining web content mining web usage mining so as the name web structure mining refers it will be working with a topology of a website so topology speaks about structure of web pages in the website so this is a structure of the web page uh, all of us are familiar with this web page consists of a various hypertext markup language tags so starting with uh, html tag ending with html tag followed by various anchor tags and body tags head title table these are the various tags available in html so using these web page can be created and collection of web pages forms website and when you are talking about organization of all these web pages uh, it is the better way of organizing all these pages so that you can retrieve the required information efficiently so we can store all these web pages using dfs dfs or combination of both breadth first search depth first search or combination of both this is one of the examples uh, wherein it speaks about uh, around 21 pages are there web pages are there in the website uh, one first page it is a home page and it contains link to second web page and third web page second page contains links to fourth and fifth so on so web structure mining it deals with discovering and modeling the link structure of the web here you can speak about graph theory and uh, even a semantic analysis syntactic analysis of various web pages and uh, the topology of the hyperlink is used for this particular purpose this is one particular application that is college website which consists of uh, web pages engineering non engineering under engineering ece department isc department csc these are the hyperlinks and under csc teaching and non teaching faculty and this uh, particular uh, application is run uh, using uh, algorithm wherein the page which is accessed by various users can be recorded from the log file of the server and based on the page popularity of the server of web pages which are stored at a particular server the reorganization of the website can be carried out okay the page uh, which is having highest access which is having highest hit count can be brought very near to the home page of the website so the applications of web structure mining it can be used uh, for uh, social network analysis and even citation analysis even discovering micro communities in the web we can get to know completeness of the website there will be some dangling links which will be always uh, remaining in the website uh, those can be identified and those can be either promoted or demoted next comes web usage mining so here uh, this is particular technique uh, which deals with user behaviors when users are interacting with a web and these uh, analysis can help in taking the decisions on how well uh, the users can be communicated for a particular uh, uh, item or particular uh, organization or particular application domain this is the log file structure which is stored at uh, a server okay which uh, tells about which particular ip address is accessing on which date uh, at what time and uh, what is the hyperlink and which text protocol it is using and what is the status code how many bytes are delivered so this is uh, the statistics of a log file and uh, this log file it provides baseline statistics access log error log referral log ascent log and page popularity is one of the hit word uh, which speaks about number of hits to a particular page this is a structure of the access log 
which speaks about address of the IP of computer date, then authenticated user, timestamp, status code, transfer volume. And these are the status codes of uh, uh, a log file that is success, redirect, failure, server error. You might have seen uh, some of uh, the error messages like 302, which is uh, displayed whenever you request for a particular home page. So what this 302 is, it is a redirect. Either a particular web page name is modified or it is been moved to some other location. 404, it is file not found. Whenever you request for a web page uh, and if that web page is not found, you will get this error message. There are other log file analysis, uh, which helps in uh, taking uh, various research oriented aspects. Okay, which a particular URL you are starting with and what is the end URL where a user is uh, uh, stopping his uh, a traversal. Okay, as in log even you can uh, get to know which all browsers uh, all the users have used over a period of time and which version it is. Error logs can be used to uh, check on various status codes and uh, from that also some analysis parameters can be uh, uh, taken care. These are the applications of web usage mining. User profiles can be learned uh, and based on that, your decision parameters can be varied and navigational pattern can be learned from a log file of the server. The next technique is web content data. So the content of the website can be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. When you say structured, it is in the form of the table, rows and columns. Semi-structured, partially, it is structured. Okay, Unstructured, totally, it is text. These are the applications of web mining. It can be used for uh, e-commerce application decision, network management, that is performance managing can be enhanced, fault management, information retrieval on the web. This is uh, application of a web structure mining, wherein even if you want to make a particular node as stable, it can be carried out uh, by making uh, uh, a particular web page as stable. And this uh, application is uh, run using Visual C++. And this is one more application wherein the log file analysis uh, can be analyzed uh, and uh, associated web pages can be obtained, which helps in retrieval of information for the user quickly. And this is application of web content mining that is uh, abstractification of text. There is a huge document available. You want to summarize it. It can be just a paragraph of uh, 10 lines or it can be even a heading of one line. Even it can be vice versa also. This is from a research point of view of uh, web mining. So it can be used across uh, the structure mining, uh, log analysis mining and content mining. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for your presentation. Uh -huh. Thank you for your valuable inputs as well that we are, that are presented in the guest lecture. For recording regular updates about IFERP guest lecture series, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification. Thank, thank you, you so Harish, much. sir. And uh, thank you, IFERP, for providing me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Mm -hmm.